Hello, hello everyone. Scorms Ghost here. Welcome back to Morrowind. We have arrived here in Balmora from the Stilt Strider. So taking a look at our journal here, we are going to see what we need to do next um, since we have arrived. We are supposed to go to Caius Casadas. To find out where he lives, I should ask in Balmora at the corner club called Southwall. When I find Caius Casales, I must give him the package of documents and wait for, for, for further orders. Alright. So, I'm going to ask him about the uh, corner club. Sav Selville. You will notice the text is bigger. I changed the resolution to 720. Because it's probably going to run a little better than it did in the last video. And probably make the text a little easier to read since I was squinting the whole time, too. Good day, stranger. Welcome to Balmora, Council Theta House Halalu. I'm your local cabinet, and I can help find you a stilt strider, travel to your destination, or if you are new to Balmora, can I help you with local services? Do you need someone in particular? Or is there a specific place in Balmora I can help you find? So, I'm looking for the South Wall Corner Club. South Wall is a working class corner club in Balmora, east of the Odai River, on the south end of Labor Street, owned by Bacola Kolaskis. Alright, well thank you. So it's east of the river, so just taking a look at our map here. We'll take a look at our local map. over here so I'm guessing we are on the western side of the river so we'll head over to the east and see if we can find this corner club There is a tapestry waving here. We'll see what it says. South Wall Corner Club. Alright, so this is it. So we're going to go in and see what we can find out about the uh, person we need to find. Sartil, who we'll talk to. And I do apologize for the butchering of these names. It's really hard to tell what they... <laughs> to pronounce them. You're a new face. So what can I tell you about Balmora? I like to swap the latest rumors when there's something juicy enough to gossip about. Or maybe if you have a little secret, maybe I have one to trade. Alright, so since you like to swap the latest rumors, what is it? I heard there's been some trouble at Fort, Fort Frostmark. Never heard of it? It's on an island called Sultime, north of Vardenfell. And how about a little secret? If someone attacks you first, you have the right to defend yourself. If someone doesn't attack you first, you're going to break the law if you attack him. Alright, that's good uh, information. But I am here looking for Caius Casatis. The old sugar tooth? I'm not sure where he's living now, but ask Bacala Kloskius, the owner, he'll know. So where can I find him? Bacala. Bacala? He's the owner. He must be around here somewhere. So I'll see if I can find him around. It looks like... Who did I just walk by? Arathor. Sugar Lips. Nope, that's not him. But I... We'll see if... Maybe this is him. Fane. Nope. Happy as Juju. Nope. Maybe just he's up above. Maybe he's up on the second floor. Oh yes, here he is. Good day. I'm Bacula Kloskius, publisher of the South Wall here in Balmora. We rent beds and I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services or a specific place nearby. 
if you're looking for someone in particular, I may be able to help. Alright, um... You did say you have a limited selection, so let's see what you have. Oh yeah, it's very limited. I can make this a little bigger. Alright, I'm gonna cancel that. So I'm looking for Caius. Do you know anything about him? Old Caius rents a little bed and basket just up the hill on the north edge of town. Go out the front door, not the upper door to the terrace, then right up the stairs, then left at the top of the stairs, and down to the end of the street. Alright. So, journal. Bacula says Caius rents a little bed, basket up the hill from the south wall. Go right up the stairs from the front door, then left at the top of the stairs and down to the end of the street. Alright. Sounds simple enough. We'll head out. And right up the stairs, left at the top of the stairs, at the end of the street. I'm guessing is this one right here. Oh yes, here he is, without a shirt on. Nice. <laughs> what? Yes, I'm Caius Casares. But what do you mean you were told to report to Caius Casares? What are you talking about? So you say your name is Ramolos Vendaris, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package? Perhaps. You'll let me look at it? Alright, yep. It's your package. Yes, very interesting. So, it says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Ramalos Renderis? Yes, I am ready. Good, welcome to the service, novice Ramalos. Now you belong to the Blades. With the Emperor, Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces, you can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our blade trainers now, but if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the blades trainer. Alright, I won't. Um, what are my orders? First thing, Pilgrim. You're new. And you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor. Or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity around here. Freelance adventure is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild or Mages Guild or Imperial Cult or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience. Or go out on your own, look for a freelance worker trouble. Then, when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Alright, um, since I'm an assassin, I'm thinking the Fighters Guild is probably the best way to go. The Fighters Guild is a professional organization chartered by the Emperor to regulate the hiring and training of mercenaries. Training goods and services are cheaper for members, and the Guild stewards know where to find work. You'll have to start your service with Edith Fireeye, the Balmora Guild steward. She's new and I don't know her well. Perseus, Mercius, <laughs> the Aldrun guild steward I know and trust, but he only handles higher ranking assignments. So what are these services? We have our own blade tra- oh, okay, I thought he meant for the fighters guild. So, we have our own blade trainers, and of course, there are many public services available in Belmore. Members get better prices from guild services. The Balmores Fighters Guild and Balmore Mages Guild are across the river. You'll find contacts for the Balmore Thieves Guild in the south wall up the street. And there's an Imperial Cult Shrine at nearby Moonmoth Legion Fort. Alright. So, how about a little advice? About doing quests for factions. 
If you try to complete every task you're given sooner or later, you'll run into trouble. Don't assume that just because someone gives you a job, you ought to be able to complete it. When you get a job that's over your head, be patient. Go do something else for a while and come back when you're tougher, better skilled, and better equipped. Alright, yeah. So, thank you. What I'll do is I'll leave with the money you gave me. Which is 383. Move this over here so I can see it a little better. Yeah, there we go. And we'll walk around and see what we can find. With this mod, there are more shops and stuff. So these are saying their own, so I can't take these, especially with people looking around and stuff. So what I'll do with this money is go find some... Um, merchant where I can buy things. And I don't remember this well here from the vanilla game. I believe that's a mod add-on to Balmora. Doris Darvo, bookseller. Oh, fighter's guild. Don't Good. press okay. your luck. You're on your honor. What the script is scroll. Ravir Trader. I'll go in here, see if he has any potions. Oh, there he is. Ravir. Ravir knows why you are here. You want to buy Ravir's famous data weapons. I'm not sure if I want to buy data weapons yet. I don't have that much money, but I'll see what you have. Magic. He does have weapons and armor. And light armor, which is good for my character. I will probably need health first before I buy anything else. But let me see about short swords. Because I am supposed to be having a short blade. Okay, so that 20, I will get 9, I'll give him a little more, so then hopefully he'll like me a little better. Thank you, please come again. Alright, thank you, Revere. So I have a short blade for when I need it, better than that, um, dagger. Now, I know these buildings here, that I'm looking at, these two, are not in the vanilla game. This one here, not sh sure about this one. And this one down here, were in the vanilla game. Be but everything else, I think, is added on. But let's see if we can find an alchemist. Oh, awesome. Debent Karili. Greetings, citizen. I'm Debent Karili. Welcome to Balmora. We are House Halalu Town and loyal citizens of the Empire. What can I do for you? Do you have any rumors you can tell me? I heard there's been trouble up at Fort Frostmark. Never heard of it? It's an old island called Saltime, north of Vardenfell. How about little advice. The easy way to get started is to join a guild. Do their jobs, earn your way to the ranks, get the discount, training, and other services. Get you out and around in Vardenfell. A little at a time, get to know the country and the people. The guild takes an interest in you. Doesn't send you in over your head. The Fighters Guild and Legion, anyways. The Mage's Guild is another story. Some old chair polisher doesn't have a clue what he's sending you into, doesn't care much. Alright, so it sounds like the Fighters Guild, which I would like to do, is a little safer. But
But let's see what you have to buy. I'm looking for anything that's health related. Creatures. Waterfly. Feather. This is very good to have potion to cure poison because you can get poisoned a lot and potion to cure disease I remember it's very good to have to because it's really easy to get diseases especially in this game that I remember more so than in other games. I don't see just looking over again I don't see anything on hell. Alright, well, sorry buddy, I can go find a different person to buy from. Because you don't have what I need, but I will come back. Promise. Looking around the town. Okay, so this is a smith. I can get weapons from him. Magical clothes. I think that's the house for that. Oh, this guy wasn't here before, I don't think. Shrine of the Tribunal. So that's the three, um... That's the Tribunal. So it's the Thil, Sil, Vivek, and Amalexia. Delicacies. I think that's food. Let's see what the pawnbroker have. They generally have a mix match of everything. Hello. So let's see what you have. Greeting, citizen. Andrelalis. Nereon. This town is Balmore. Council seat of House Halalu. We're loyal citizens of the Empire and proud of it. Well, most of us anyways. So, are you looking for someone in particular? Are you looking for services? Is there some specific place you would like to visit? Would you like to tell me? Would you like me to tell you about my trade? Yeah, sure. I am a pawnbroker. I buy your goods, giving you cash on the counter. And if at a later date you want, wish to recover your goods, you need to only pay me what they are worth. With a small profit, of course, for my time and trouble. I also sell things, sometimes used and worn, sometimes almost new, and all for a fraction of what they'd cost if you purchased elsewhere. Alright, let's see what you have. Do you have any magic? Good. So, fortify health. That would be good. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you, please come again. Alright, but I still need health potions. I need to find somebody who will sell me health potions. I know the major skill probably would, but I don't really want to join them yet. I think that's the only way I could probably buy from them is by joining them. Eight plates. I think that's a restaurant if I remember it. I'm not 100% certain. I don't really remember. I believe this is a fine alchemist. Yeah, fine alchemist. Alright, let's see what you have. Welcome to Balmora, Count Seat of House Halali. I'm going to you. As you see, the um, greeting is not as well as others because obviously this person probably thinks, this elf probably thinks I'm lower than them and they don't really like me. I'm only at 44 out of 100 that they like me. So let's see. I'll just try and buy from them right away. So we'll see.
A lot of fortify health. I just need a... Need a restore health potion. Restore fatigue, restore health, exclusive. Is this the only one you have? Yeah, it looks like it. And how much coal do I have? Wow, it's not letting me choose a... just to buy like one or two. Alright, I'll be right back right after I figure this out. And I am back. I found out while looking it up through Reddit that uh, the um, code patch for the mod that I put down in the list in the last video. In the vanilla game, all you'd need to do is press on the thing and the slider bar would come up to allow you to choose how many you want to buy. But in um, the modded game, you have to hold down shift and then press it. It allows you to choose how many. So I'm gonna buy two. Give her a little more. I'll just go up to 250. I think she, oh, she only went up one, but she said, thank you, please come again. I'm not going to ask her that much since she's not offering to give me any assistance of any kind or anything. So with that, I'm going to head back to the Fighters Guild. And sign up with them with, I think they said, Edith's Fire Eye. It's not... Doesn't look like I'm in here. It doesn't look like it's in here, but I think that's what Kaya said the name of the Fighters Guild um, steward is. So, Fasil Charcel. Greeting, citizen. I'm Fasil. Welcome to Balmore. We're House Halalu Town and loyal citizen of the Empire. What can I do for you? Do you have any rumors? I heard there's been some trouble up at Fort Frostmouth. Okay, someone else told me. Well, if, you, if you're considering mercenary career, the Fighters Guild isn't too choosy. No, don't take offense. I just mean they're relaxed, easygoing, give along, get along. Legion's is a lot tougher outfit, and fussy about ends and means, if you follow me. And there's house veteran people, well, they are tough and sharp but a bit tiresome in the duty and honor line. Do you have a secret you can tell me? Somebody said Laris Vara over at Fort Moonmoth is looking for you. Said he wanted to talk to you. Don't know what about. Alright, well thank you for telling me that. I had no idea he was looking for me or even that he knew who I was. So, I'm going to ask you about the Fighters Guild. Yeah, this is the Fighters Guild. Edith's Fire Eyes is do it. Talk to her if you're thinking about joining the Fighters Guild. Alright, we'll do. Thank you. That's obviously not Edith. Alright, this is Edith right here. Well, speak up, Dark Elf. What do you want? Are you here to join the Fighters Guild? I am here to join the Fighters Guild. You look like you can take care of yourself. 
Flash time to you up. You might want to look at the Fighters Guild Charter. Are you ready to sign up now? What is it? Charter. Your duties are to your lords and brethren, and always proceed with honor and valor. Keep a clean and watchful mind and never succumb to craven tricks of the weak. As a member, you are permitted to use our equipment chest. It is traitorous to fight or thieve from other members of your guild. If you break these rules, you must speak with at least a warder of the guild to redeem your standing. Do you feel you can uphold these ideals? Yes. You are now Romola's Rendaris, the associate in the Fighters Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and you'll do just fine. Seek me out if you feel you are ready for advancement. Do I have any orders? I have a very simple contract. To end an infestation of cave rats, you might be able to handle it. Go to Grawarian's house. It's here in Balmore, along the ri river on the east side. Okay, so that's the side with the south wall. Corner Club. Ask her where the rats are coming from. Kill the rats and get your payment from Draven Zeller. Report back to me once you've taken care of this. Alright. What's the equipment chest? You'll find basic supplies. Prongs, hammers, and restoration potions. <laughs> I just bought some. If you need more supplies, I suggest visit traders here in Balmora. We're able to resupply the chest once in a while, but don't count on it. Alright, I won't take anything yet from it, because I just bought some. But, let's see. Going into my inventory. I'll put on the ring. I'll always take this short sword. There's an armorer, and yes, this uh, armorer was in the uh, vanilla game. I remember that. Meldor. Yeah, he looks very different from the vanilla game. Hello, friend. I'm Meldor. Welcome to Belmore. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it. Or try, anyway. If it's just a little advice you'd like, that's fine too. Alright, what's your advice? Outlanders, new in Vardenfell, will do the best in Balmore. House Lalu is, in, is Imperial through and through. And you get a good mix of native and imperial people and services. Not as friendly to Outlanders up north in the House Redoran, Redoran country, but down in the big Vivek city and definitely not friendly out east with Telavani wizards. Shop the Outfitters and check out the guild for work. If you want to be adopted by a great house, you'll need Patron, and that's easier when you've got a reputation. Alright, so let's see what you have. So I need, uh... Wow. I definitely need light armor. Take one of these. And one of these. It's coming to 88. Alright, that should be... I'll try the boots. 105. No, I don't have enough. Unless if I... Try to sell maybe the iron dagger. He doesn't buy it. Okay. So I'm going to take the boots away. 88. I only have 93. And I'll offer that. Thank you. Please come again. So I only have three gold left, which is pretty funny. this on underneath my robe which is pretty cool like in the other games we're not you don't really put on robes or anything you can't put it over armor but in this one you can as you see I just took that off and 
put it back on and the armor is still underneath there and yet you still look pretty pretty cool and for magic I'll put on the healing ring so the journal said eat this fire I told me to talk to in about some rats that have infected a house. The house is here in Balmora on the east side of the town near the river. Okay, I'll see if it's showing up on the map. Valerian. Oh, there it is. So I'm right here. All I need to do is just go straight down this alley and over the bridge and straight. Okay, cool. Are you the one they sent to take care of the cave rats? I am. These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all my pillows. You like pillows, don't you? Ramalo's renderings. Anyways, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in my storage up area upstairs. That is, not pillows. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of these beasts. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. Alright, just to take a look at my journal. Darin told me that she has one rat trapped in the bedroom, and there are others in a storage area upstairs. She has given me the key to get in. I should find and kill all the rats and return to her when I'm done. Alright. So what this combat is, it's a roll based combat, so even though it looks like you're hitting them, it's based on rolls and percentages on how skilled your character is. Okay. So I have one. Need the ring to, uh, to heal myself. So rat meat, drain magicka. I'm going to take the meat and dispose of the corpse so that's not laying around. And here are her pillows. Wow, she's obsessed. Couple books here. And we'll go upstairs and... That's quite a view of Balmora. We'll go upstairs and finish off the rest of the cave rest. Up here, there's definitely two. <clears throat> Try not to use that uh, health potion yet. Okay, good, got them. Take the rat meat, dispose of the corpse. Those are the corpse. Okay. So continuing on, we will go back down and let her know the rat infestation is taken care of. It's good to have you stop by, Ramalos Renderich. Always happy to see you. We're looking for... Were you looking for a little advice or is there something else in Balmora you want to talk about? 
All right, the cave rats. I'll take your word that the cave rats are dead. Here, take these hundred septum. That's what I agreed to pay the fighter to. All right, good. They thanked me for getting rid of the rats and paid me a hundred gold. So with that, I will return to the steward and let her know the job is done. Alright, about the cave rats. So you killed the rats from all this. Not bad for you. You ready for more orders? Not quite yet. With that everyone, after solving the cave rat problem and shopping around a little bit, we're going to call it an episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Morrowind. As I am, I'm having a great time looking at the new modded features in this game and remembering the old vanilla game back from when I played it a long time ago. And I hope you stick around and watch some more episodes as they come out. Another one should be out soon. And thank you for joining me on this adventure. Until next time, bye.